everybody out there, I'm back with another Rocket Vlog for this week. Um, and this week I thought I'd have a look at a couple of cool things I got in the mail uh, a few weeks ago uh, as a late Christmas present um, from my friends from the United States, Connie and Ilya. Um, now, in case you can't see them, I'm going to push them closer to the camera so you can see them. They are Transformers Construct Bots. Um, and if you've never seen a Transformers Construct Bot before, basically what it is is a plastic exoskeleton there and you've got all the pieces and you have to attach all the pieces um, to the skeleton um, basically to make up the transformer in question. As you can see my friends were kind enough to get me Starscream who is one of my favorite transformers ever as is Optimus Prime um, obviously the leader of the Autobots. Um, I think for the sake of the review, what we're going to do is we're going to look at Optimus Prime um, because he has the most pieces and therefore is probably the harder of the two to build. I mean, if we look at the box, Starscream even says that he's an easy construct bot to put together. So we're going to base this review on the harder Transformer and also because everybody knows who Optimus Prime is anyway, so we may as well go with him since he's quite a popular guy, I think. So on the back of the box it says construct, customize and convert. The idea being that obviously you can put him together, you can put him together however you, way you want him, and you can also transform him. Now if we look at the front of the box, um, Optimus Prime does look pretty damn cool. He's pretty heavily armoured there, looks really good. And even the truck form looks pretty good as well. I've got to be honest with you, I'm looking forward to opening this and uh, seeing what he's like and seeing how he looks, how challenging he is to put together and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll just get down to it. Now, dinner is actually going to be ready for me in about 45 to 50 minutes. So the challenge here is I've got to put Optimus Prime together here within 45 to 50 minutes. So we're going to try that now. So. The first challenge I've got is to actually figure out how this box opens, because I'm not entirely sure. Um, and I don't particularly want to tear the box open. There's some sticky tape on it, so that'll that's probably a good start. how this works. I know it must look wrong what I'm doing with my hand motions and everything at the moment but I assure you I'm just trying to get this box open. Okay there we go. The box is open. And we have a nice red storage case that even has the Autobot insignia sort of moulded into the case. That's quite nice actually. Um, the storage case is really nice, it's a nice red plastic case and as you can see you should be able to see Optimus Prime's head there which is pretty funky that he, the idea that he's been decapitated is pretty uh, pretty grisly but there we go, let's get this open there you go, lids come off and here's a bag of pieces A bigger pack of pieces, instruction manual obviously, and something, 150,000 points for something, I'm not entirely sure what, but the back says download app and scan or enter code at for instructions, app availability and compatibility, go to transformers.com. Well, I don't have a smartphone, so that's useless to me. Okay, so, and obviously, the head, the Autobot insignia, and uh, some other things are in there. Right, so this is Optimus Prime Elite Class. Um, Interestingly, the back of the instruction manual has uh, shows you that Megatron is also available. And apparently Megatron was at the store that Connie and Ilya um, got.
got these from, but to be honest with you, out of the Transformers that are available in this range, I think you've got um, Optimus and Starscream, obviously, then you have Bumblebee, who, curiously enough, changes into three things, um, which is never done in any universe before, I don't think. Um, Soundwave, Ironhide, and Megatron. I've I got to be honest, they, they did great and got me my two favourites out of that bunch, so yeah. Right, so just to give you an idea of how the instructions look, uh, this is how they look. They basically look like Lego instructions, so now I've got to try and figure out how to do this, and since I'm not very uh, mechanically inclined or anything like that, this is going to be interesting. Um, and this is probably going to be put on fast forward for your convenience because we could be here a while. So let's give it a go, I guess. Okay, if we're fast forwarding for a moment, let's just pause that a minute and go back to regular speed because I've just had to pull one of these wheels out of here and I've got to put it together with this, I think, and then put that like that. Hey, look at that. See that? That's cool. I've got to do it a few more times. Bollocks, I put that on the wrong way. That's a fist. See that? That's a fist. Whee. Okay, I think he's about done, and Val told me to do this when I finished him, so, how's this work? Yeah, that's pretty good, eh? Uh, right, um, as you can see, um, if I followed the instructions correctly, which I think I did, um, yeah, he, I think he looks about right. Uh, let's check the box.
Yeah, he looks uh, he looks about right, more or less. I think I goofed a bit on the wheels at the bottom, um, but otherwise he's turned out pretty good. Um, little bits have fallen off of him, as like any construction toy does, because there are always some more fiddly bits. Um, but as you can see, his arms move reasonably well, thanks to the ball joints. Um, he's got articulation at the elbows, at the shoulders. Um, at the knees as well, look at that, see that? So you can make him look like he's running. Um, he can do the splits pretty well, as well. Uh, see that? Um, so yeah, that is uh, Construct Bats Optimus Prime, um, as well as I can build him anyway. I think some bits might be actually... No, that's, that's about right, yeah, that's about right. Um, Right, now as I said before, I was never into Lego as a kid. Um, to be honest with you, I was never into construction toys as a child um, because I don't have the patience for them and as an adult I don't have the patience for them. Um, but a construction kit for a transformer at the very least um, gave me some patience because I wanted to see what Optimus Prime looked like finished because I'm a big Transformers nut as you know. and. It was, I wouldn't say it was easy to put together. Um, there was a mild challenge here and there figuring out in which way to put certain pieces on. Um, but to be honest with you, I mean, I, I think they're about, these things are about 20 pounds, um, something like that. Um, so for a construction toy um, that you can customize yourself as well as it says on the box, construct and customize, um, I think this is a great way to keep your child or Transformers fan in your life, quiet for half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour. I don't know how long that took to put together. Um, but then there's the whole transforming thing as well. Um, and according to the instructions, if he is constructed right, then it should just be a case of literally transforming him from the sort of state you find him in. Um, so let's see if we can do that before dinner is ready. So the chest is supposed to pop open, head folds in, sort of. Ugh. Like so. Yeah, you know what, this looks a bit complex considering I think I only have a few seconds left and Optimus' head has fallen off. Sorry about that. Um, but on the whole, um, with these Transformers Construct Bats, um, you know what, I heartily recommend them. Um, he was a lot of fun to put together and as you saw before I tried transforming him and ruined the whole thing, um, he's actually he actually looks pretty darn good all put together. Um, looking heavily armoured and stuff. Um, so yeah, I heartily recommend them. Um, and I think in most toy stores now, because they've been out a while, um, they're starting to drop the price on them. So, if you're a Transformers fan or you've got a love uh, a loved one who is a Transformers fan in your life and you want to give them something to do on a quiet Sunday, like this one, um, I would recommend you fork out the 20, 15 pounds or whatever it is uh, to buy them one. Um, and to be honest with you, out of all the ones I've seen, because they're on the boxes, all of them, I think Optimus Prime is probably the best looking one out of the bunch. Um, although, you know, it stands personal preference. So yeah, these things are highly recommended and if you're a Transformers fan, or even if you're not, go and buy one now and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.